and welcome back for today's video. Um, today I'm going to be doing a sort of 101 and a Q&A on my eyelash extensions. Um, before I got these I actually went on YouTube and sought after some videos and some reviews on them and there wasn't that many so I thought that I would sort of film my review and opinion on eyelash extensions. That's kind of why my face looks a little bit bare. I have no eyeliner on, no mascara and not a lot of eyeshadow so Yes, I definitely need a little bit of eyeliner, but I wanted to show you what they look like just with hardly any makeup on. Okay, so at the end of the video, I will insert some close-up clips, and if I've got any, I will insert throughout this video some before and after photos of my eyelash extension, so you can see that I literally had no eyelashes before. Um, I'm a little bit of a, I guess, not a pro or an expert, but I have had eyelash extensions done a couple times, so I know sort of what's good, what's bad, I think. Um, what to sort of look out for if you're looking for eyelash extensions. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to talk about is preparation, I guess, or or just sort of what to do before you actually go in for the procedure. Um, what I would say is make sure you find someone who has an extensive like amount of work that you can look at on Instagram, Facebook, if they've got their own website. You just want to check that the eyelash extensions that they do on other people are the types of eyelash extensions you want personally. You don't want to turn up and you don't like someone's work if you look at pictures of their eyelash extensions that they've done on previous clients and you just think this is way too dramatic for me or this is not enough for me or they're just... If you don't think they're really good enough um, so I'd definitely say before you jump in and book an appointment make sure you have a look at a couple pictures they should really have them posted on their website if they're good enough photos they will so um, yeah that's my first tip I think the second thing I'm gonna say is make sure you pay a decent amount of money but not an excessive amount of money um, the eyelash extensions I just had done recently I believe they cost me I can't remember if it was 70 or 75, and that is more than I normally pay. But this was a full set of eyelashes, um, so it is going to cost you a little bit more than if you get infills and things like that, which I will come to later. But yeah, I've paid from 40 pounds up to 75. I think that's the maximum range I've ever paid in the minimum. Um, it depends again what you're paying for. There's completely different types of eyelash extensions nowadays. There's mink, eye, mink eyelash extensions. There's Russian volume eyelash extensions, which is sort of a new technique that technicians are now doing where they apply more than one eyelash to an eyelash, if that makes sense. Normally it's eyelash one to one. So they add an extension to every single eyelash you have and that's a full set. But what they're doing now is a new technique where they add more than one eyelash to one eyelash if that makes sense so two or three on one so it creates a much thicker and fuller look if any of you guys watch Aspen and Parker Aspen actually has eyelash extensions and she did a video on them really recently and I believe she gets Russian volume extensions because hers are just so big and fluttery and I think that's what they are so look out for them if that's something you're interested in um, then there's different types of lash extensions so there's lash perfect there's nouveau lashes there's so many different brands so do your research I would say go on reviews see what people say I've had both lash perfect and nouveau lashes and I think they give completely different looks I think nouveau lashes are much more fluttery and feather like I find them a lot softer actually and I kind of prefer them just because that's what I've got on now, I've got Nouveau and lashes now. Um, they feel so much more natural on the eyes, they're not heavy whatsoever. I've had Lash Perfect before and sometimes they've been fine, other times I've had them done and they can be a little bit heavy and a little bit sort of plasticky feeling, um, which is, can be a bit uncomfortable, a bit scratchy. So yeah, that's definitely pros and cons, look out for those different brands of lashes, what you'd rather, what you'd prefer. The third thing I'm going to say just before you go in and book an appointment is make sure you have an, a patch test with the glue. That's so, so important. Every single time I go somewhere new, they constantly say, oh, have you had a patch test? Even if you've had a patch test done at one place, does not mean they use the same type of glue in another place. You've got to be really, really careful because I have seen a few videos and photos of bad reactions to eyelash extensions and they are horrendous. Um, people literally cannot see their whole eyelids are swollen. So make sure you're not allergic to the glue um, and get a patch test done 48 hours before just, just to keep keep that in check really. Okay, so onto the actual appointment. Um, typically what happens is you will go in, um, you will discuss with the technician what sort of look you're going for, if it's natural, if it's really glam, um, really heavy, whatever, whatever you'd rather. And what they tend to do is they should really show you the eyelashes and the curl shapes. If they don't, ask to see them. You wanna know what they're putting where. I'm, I'm very much like that. I wanna know exactly what is going on my eyelashes. So ask to see them if you can't, or if you haven't been offered that opportunity. Um, 
I tend to have not too big of a curl just because it doesn't really suit my eye shape but I prefer it when they're wispier on the corners on the outer corners I will do closer in shots of my eyelashes so you guys can see but I just prefer that kind of look sort of like a cat eye look I just find it more flattering um, this is not as full as she could have gone she said afterwards like if you don't want them too full then I'll stop now but I think when I go back in for my infills I'm gonna have them done a little bit fuller um, they're just super handy if you don't want to wear mascara and if you're going on holiday that's why I've had mine done and that would be two of the reasons why I'd recommend them the most next thing they're gonna do is there I've had a few different ways of doing this sometimes they stick huge cotton pads underneath your eyes um, and then sellotape it really and then you have your eyes shut for the top for the whole procedure and then they do the eyelash extensions or I've had where they just use sellotape and I actually think that works way better it's just way more comfortable when they just use um, sellotape masking tape it's just way more comfortable um, how long it takes really depends on how quick they are um, and again how full you're going with your lashes I've had them take from the quickest time I had was most recently she was amazing she took like an hour and a half which is super fast I've never had someone take that quick so yeah the guy just had took an hour and a half but I've had all the way up to like three hours worth I've been sat there before for like three hours with my eyes shut so it is it's not an uncomfortable at all it's so relaxing I almost fall asleep every time um, but yeah you want to just make sure you know how long you're gonna be in there because you can be in there for quite a long time the third thing I would say look out for is sort of aftercare of your lashes I guess and um, they give you they should give you like a little spoolie which you can brush through your lashes with in the morning and the evening I don't really stick to that that often I sort of just brush through them when they start to twist now they are going to twist and turn if if someone said to you like oh they'll stay how they're what they're done the first time you get them done no no, no they're gonna twist and turn but if you either get them removed or you're going to get them infilled, that shouldn't be that much of a problem. You should only really have like one or two days where they're looking a bit misshapen before you go and get them infilled or go get them removed. Um, or if you just want to let, let them naturally fall out. I have done that so many times. The only issue is with that is you will have some sort of long lashes and short lashes and it can look a little bit funny. Um, but you can completely just let them fall out naturally it depends if you want this to be a long-term thing or just a short-term thing for an event or something after you've had them done do not get your eyelashes wet for 24 hours I tend to try and not get them wet for as long as possible just sort of wash around your face even after they like they've been set in for 24 hours I will never rub my eyes or remove my you know eye makeup really aggressively or anything like I normally would because I just don't want to break down that glue that's essentially what that is doing it's just helping break down that glue and allowing the lashes to sort of slip away more easily so that's why I would say avoid the eye area another tip I'm going to say is do not use an oil based remover that again is going to break down the um, chemicals in the glue and it's going to make the lashes fall out so use um, a non-oil makeup remover I use the Garnier micella water but whatever works best for you and lastly I'm just going to tell you guys what I think about them and whether or not I would recommend them I have had them done on numerous occasions and do you know what I would definitely recommend them especially if you're going to keep up with the routine and get infills and things like that with your lashes I'm not great with that I don't always keep on top of it um, but if you're going to do that I think it's definitely definitely beneficial I also think it's beneficial if you're someone with really bad lashes anyway like naturally my lashes are really really tiny and thin and not thick and not full looking it does make a drastic difference um so that that for that reason i think they're worth it additionally i think they're really really good for the summer that's when i tend to get my eyelash extensions done from sort of june to september and then i won't have them for the rest of the winter because for me it's not really worth it i like falsies anyway so yeah that's tend to why i have them done in the summer they're so great if you're going to be sat by the pool um like in the daytime and you don't want to look like you've got hardly any eyelashes they're also incredible for cutting down the time it takes to do your makeup so if you're someone that likes to take a really long time doing their makeup um, it is going to halve the amount of time you have to do sat there either putting loads of mascara on or sticking eyelashes on um, I know I've not got a lot of makeup on now but I would happily go out with this and I've got absolutely nothing on my top lashes so it, it really does help Please leave any queries or questions about eyelash extensions in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you guys and give you my advice and tips and everything and try and help you as best I can. Um, especially if you're new to getting them, it can be a bit daunting because you just don't know who to go to, what to get, everything. So I hope this video has helped you in some way or another. Um, if you're new to my channel, go and check out some of my other videos. And if you like what you see, please hit that subscribe button. 
I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.